We'll talk about the world you might inherit if you were to win. Uh, you got young kids like myself. What is the issue that you worry about that your generation, our generation, is going to hand off to the kids, whether it's the environment, a nation at war, all of a sudden an age of terror? We can go down. Unfortunately, right. there's a litany to choose from, including the environment. Right. What issue are you most worried about that your daughters are going to have to deal with um, that we handed them? You know, I, I wish I could just stick to one, but I think there, there, there are three issues that I worry about uh, most. Uh, the first is our foreign policy. Uh, you mentioned terrorism, but I'm, I, I'm interested not just in acts of terror, I'm also interested in an environment that is breeding anti-American sentiment and violence. Um, and obviously there's some specific things we have to do in terms of nuclear proliferation, making sure that we're tying down nu loose nukes so that they don't fall into the hands of terrorists. That's probably my number one priority from a security perspective. Um, but more broadly, we've got to create an environment in which uh, people around the world get a sense that we're leading with our values and our ideals and not just militarily. The second thing, uh, domestically, I think we've got some big challenges uh, in getting our economy right. You know, the fact is, is that our, our budgets are way out of balance. We have huge long-term debts when you count Medicare and Medicaid. We're basically charging the credit card to the next generation. And we need to make certain that we are taking care of our uh, fiscal situation so that we're not burdening the next generation with huge amounts of debt. Uh, and the third thing is the issue of energy, both our energy dependence on Middle Eastern oil that skews our foreign policy and energy as a part of our environmental policy. Climate change is real and we've got to deal with it. To do those things that everybody, I think, agrees have to be done, it's going to take that tough love we spoke about before. Right. Do you campaign on how bad it is or do you, when you get in office, say, you know, these tax cuts can't keep them anymore. Right. We're going to have to pay an extra buck for gas. We're going to have to do these things because it's this point in history that we're going to have to step up. If you say that pitch, obviously a lot of people say, sounds good, but you know, I'm not looking to go in my pocket anymore. Yeah. Well, I, th I think it's, it's a good question, and uh, I think the American people are ready to make some sacrifices if they feel optimistic about the future. You know, uh, when, when Kennedy said, we're going to the moon, nobody knew how we were going to get to the moon, but people felt optimistic that, you know, American know-how can achieve this, and we made sacrifices and made investments to make that happen. I think the same is true today. Uh, if you just say to people, we're going to tax you some more, uh, without people having a clear vision of how's that going to improve the schools, or will everybody have health care, or is it going to make a difference uh, in terms of our energy policy, then people are going to shove off. If you say to them, you know what, we may have to make some investments now, but look at this bright future that is going to be created for our kids and our grandkids. That's something that I think mm -hmm. people are, are, are compelled by. So th you, you've got to have realism, but you also have to have some, uh, uh, some optimism in order to lead the country forward. And I, uh, hopefully that's something that we'll be offering during the course of the campaign.